Ebenezer Fabi, popularly known as Ebenezer Obe, was born in 1942 in Idogo, Western Nigeria. He was born in Lagos due to the lack of health facilities at Idogo at that time. But he was immediately taken back to Idogo, where he was raised by his mother. His formal musical activity began early, when the music performed at his church Sunday school prompted him to join the choir and later to lead the Methodist Primary School Band. He earned his English nickname as a school prefect while telling his fellow pupils to obey. He left his village in the 1950s, halfway through grammar school and moved to Lagos where he played the guitar and the agidigbo, the thumb piano in several bands, including the Royal Mambo Orchestra, the Guinea Mambo Orchestra, the Fatai Rolling Dollar, and the Federal Rhythm Brothers. After finishing his secondary education in Abelkuta and moving back to Lagos in 1963, Obeja Gode's work as a clerk with that of musician, composing songs in his spare time. In 1964, he formed a group called the International Brothers. The band, known for its Yoruba percussion, vocals, and layered guitar sounds, soon gained a lot of popularity with the hit juju song, Ewa Ojumiri. In 1971, he renamed the band Inter Reformers. According to him, the major reason for the name change was that he lost a very important member of his band, Oke Aminu. Aminu was a junior in school when Obi formed his first band, Royal Mambo Orchestra. Aminu was a second in command. After Aminu's demise, Obi was progressing and he wanted to do a reformation. That is why he changed the name of his band to Interreformance Band. By the 1960s, Juju had been around for several decades, with its origins in Yoruba folklore. However, it remained a rural music overshadowed by Ghanaian highlife as Nigerians' choice for party music. However, the music's modernization at the hands of Ike Dairo and its growing importance during the Nigerian Civil War would secure Juju's status as Nigerian's national music by 1970. Whereas Ike Dairo and other Juju artists performed many songs dealing with women and their beauty, Obey's lyrics were more religious. A devout Christian like his parents, he composed songs dealing with issues of honesty, morality, love, family, peace and other themes associated with faith. He once told the Orange County Register, My music teaches a lot of morals and educates people. For instance, when the government does something good, I always try to support it because I can reach many Nigerians through my records. 
to help them see the point in what the government is trying to say. Chief Commander Ebenezer Obe, as he is also called in Nigeria, did not create the Juju style of music. He has nonetheless been a great force in reinventing what has come to be known as Nigeria's national sound. Taking the reins from Juju Master, Ike Dairo, Obey further modernized the music with his Miliki style. In Yoruba, Miliki means enjoyment and pleasure. He added several talking drums and blended Yoruba drumming and western guitars. The introduction of several talking drums, multiple guitars, electric bass, and a simplified upbeat tempo have led many to regard Obey as the father of modern Juju. According to him, he said he added more talking drums and guitars to the original sound of Juju music, and that makes it more pleasing to the listeners. He also added, that is why they are not fed up with listening to the records of Juju music, even though he releases three records a year. Obe surpassed Ike Dairo in popularity by the end of the 1970s, but he had another challenger in King Sonny Adi, who burst onto the Juju scene in 1966. Obe and Adi challenged each other musically, advancing the evolution of Juju music in a reportedly friendly competition that lasted for decades. The competition between Obe and Ade engaged the public and fueled rapid evolution of the Juju sound as trap drums, pedal steel guitar, synthesizers, and more and more percussion instruments joined the lineup. By the time Ade first toured internationally in the early 80s, Juju could compete with the best rock music of that era. According to Washington Post, Obi's brand of Juju is simultaneously complex and elemental and traditional. The talking drums establish a propulsive rhythm pattern. Obi's guitars lay another jittery rhythm over that. Chanted harmonies join in, and so on with the rest of the 17-piece ensemble. The result is a colorful, thickly interwoven texture that somehow sounds airy and reveals new details each time it is heard. I just want to let you know.